So I have my Pi PDP-8 here booted up. And it's uh, just booted up to some random data, not really valid data. So we're going to go ahead and set the address to zero. And you can see the top line is the address here. Um, that's the program counter. Um, memory address is below it here. We have our memory buffer. This is at this address what's in memory. Um, so we can actually examine that and see what's there. Um, and then um, below here we have the accumulator. Um, and we have uh, this machine implements the multiplier quotient, which is another register. Um, so one of the more advanced PDP machines. Over here we have the instruction that we're working on, uh, what, what kind of instruction it is. So you can see we have jump instructions, jump compares. We have increment a, a memory uh, value. And so various other states here. We've got M states. We've got program running states, things like that. So very cool. So we'll go ahead and load that address. And we'll, let's go ahead and write a program that just kind of increments the accumulator. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to call the increment the accumulator um, instruction. That's 7001. And we're going to go ahead and deposit that. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, create a counter. So um, this machine runs incredibly quick. So if I uh, put a 5000 and deposit that, basically what that just did is it it's jumping back to the accumulator. And you can see that this is actually running, counting up through these accumulators so fast that you really don't get a chance to see anything. Um, so let's go ahead and stop that. And uh, let's go ahead and change the program ever so slightly. Uh, we'll go ahead and set it all back to zero. We'll load that address. And first instruction, 7001. It's already there, but we'll just go ahead and do it again. The next one is going to be 5. I'm sorry, it's the two, zero, three, four. And we'll deposit that. Now what two, zero, three, four does is it's basically setting up um, and incrementing a spot in memory, in this case, address 34. Uh, for some reason in PDP code, we always use 34 as this counter. Think about it as I in a for loop, for example, in basic. So we're going to increment that spot in memory and compare that spot to zero. Okay, and if it is zero, we will execute the next instruction. Otherwise, we will skip the next instruction. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and increment memory spot 34 by one and compare it to zero. So we'll store that. And the next instruction, if it is zero, I'm sorry, if it is not zero in this case, is going to be go to address one. So jump to address of one. We'll store that. Now remember, on that 2034, what we're doing is we're executing or skipping the next instruction based on what the state of memory address 34 was. Uh, was it zero or not? So if it is uh, not zero, we jump back to address one. But in this case, if it is, uh, is a zero, we want to jump all the way back to the increment, the accumulator. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're implementing a small delay loop uh, that will cycle through um, all of these bits. So here you can see I've just executed it and now it's running and it's counting up. And as we get all the way to the top here, we'll, we'll turn the link light on because we'll overflow. That's a carry bit. So when I first ran this, it ran so fast you couldn't see it counting. But now with that little delay loop, it's, it's slow enough that we do see the, that. And there you can see the link lights turned on. And the next time I cycle through here, you'll see that that light, link light will turn back off because it's basically flipping that bit um, on or off. There we go. It's turned back off. So it flips that link light on or off um, depending on, uh, you know, if you... It basically adds to it. So that is a very simple PDP program for um, basically four instructions. You'll notice that we have octal and everything is done in um, three. So that's the octal. So... Uh, 0 through 7, 0 through 7, 0 through 7, 0 through 7. We have these higher order um, values here as well for, for other spots, for larger memory banks and things like that. Um, but typically you're just going to use the bottom um, 12 here. Now this is a 12-bit machine, um, and typically what you're going to see is the instruction is the high order bits. You have some operands to that instruction, and then you have uh, your, your addresses or your memory or whatever you're, you're dealing with here as the lower order bits. Um, but because we're using 12 bits, the accumulator is 12 bits, it cycles through that. Also, each spot in memory is 12 bits. 
So what we're doing in, in essence is the delay loop is counting and incrementing that one spot in memory, address 34, by one. Um, so it cycles through that 4,096 times between each time this light blinks. Um, and in fact, it's this light blinking that's happening down here. So in essence, we could, if we wanted to, actually add another delay loop to slow it down even further um, so that you could actually see these lower order bits actually cycling through. Now, the PDP is kind of funny in that they, they actually call this switch zero. And so um, zero, one, two, three, and so on, uh, which is kind of backwards from what most other computers are. But, but you know, that's just uh, no, no, silly nomenclatures that we use. Um, so let's go ahead and do one last demo here. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. And because we're built on top of the uh, PIDP8 image on Raspi, uh, Raspbian, um, Raspberry Pi basically. We have a Raspberry Pi 3 inside of here, actually kind of running the show. Um, we can actually do one of the demo programs. So let me go ahead and switch bit 4 here on, or bit 3. We turn that on. If I hold down the load address and I hold down, or I cycle through the step instruction here, um, what that just did is that loaded a demo program into memory and I can hit start. And there you can see the demo program running. This is the Space War game the original uh, video game for a computer. Uh, the cool thing about this is it, it does a very nice demonstration of blinky lights on this machine. Um, if I had this hooked up to an HDMI monitor, the Raspberry Pi that's inside here, uh, then you can actually play the game as well. So there's a lot of cool features that really weren't available on the original PDP, um, but they are available on this uh, little um, emulated version of it, if you will. So I learned to program the PDP-8 um, by reading the Introduction to Programming um, from DEC. Uh, this is an original uh, copy from 1967 uh, that actually shows you how to program uh, the PDP computer. And here you can see there's uh, some example. Somebody that had this book way before me actually uh, took notes in it, probably a college or some, something like that. Um, so there's... Uh, some sample programs in there. Uh, lots of cool stuff in there. I, I, I had had not used a PDP before uh, this machine, um, and it was a fun learning experience. So look forward to the uh, PDP 11 that Oscar's going to be coming out with here soon. Take care.